So uh, let's talk about how we can create uh, uh, Copilot agents with Copilot Studio now. So we have just seen the governance part of the story. Now let's see the maker part of the story. Uh, here you can find my uh, Twitter and Blue Sky account in case you wanna follow me and ju just let's go on the actual content of this uh, demo. So uh, again, we want to see how to create uh, agents with Copilot Studio. And well, the agents are intelligent assistants that help us uh, provide a fully focused uh, context uh, to our end users to interact through Microsoft 365 Copilot and generally speaking through a, uh, to a, a bot-based interface uh, to get uh, content, information and answer based on a specific scenario. And uh, uh, we can also use agents to automate uh, business processes and uh, execute business processes. All of that, uh, also based on a set of tools and workflows that we already have uh, in our own uh, environment and that we are used to use. So uh, when we create agents, we can use uh, uh, different uh, uh, tools and options. We can create agents uh, uh, from the end user experience using the Copilot Studio Gen Builder and the uh, agent for SharePoint. We can be makers and create agents with uh, Copilot Studio, which is, uh, which is our focus today in this demo. Or we can uh, wear the hat of a developer, a pro code developer, and use uh, the Teams Toolkit and build uh, declarative agents and uh, custom engine agents. Right now, uh, today, I want to focus on how to use Copilot Studio to create such an agent. So uh, let me switch to the demo environment and let me show you uh, what the uh, scenario I'm going to share with you is. So let's say that we want to create an agent uh, for an hypothetical HR department. And here I have uh, a site collection in SharePoint Online uh, where I stored uh, some documents uh, uh, generated through uh, Copilot, actually. And I also want to rely on uh, a, a website uh, which will provide uh, content and information about uh, HR related topics, which for the sake of simplicity will be the entry point of the HR website uh, of Microsoft. So now what we want to create and see how to create is a bot that we can use uh, as an agent in uh, Microsoft Teams or uh, also in uh, uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot to uh, manage the content that we have in SharePoint Online and the content that we have uh, in the uh, website, the public website uh, that we want to target. So here, just to give you an idea of the final goal, I can interact with my agent, I can ask questions to my agent providing prompts and I can get back answers based on the content that I have in my uh, SharePoint Online uh, repository in my document library, as well as I can do the same interacting, as you will see soon, uh, using uh, uh, Copilot, uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot, uh, instead of a bot-based interface. And when I get answers back from the uh, agent, I can also get a reference to the documents that I have uh, in my SharePoint Online. And I can do the same with an agent for Microsoft 365 Copilot using the uh, Copilot interface. I creating an agentic HR uh, through which I can still provide the same kind of uh, uh, prompts and get back, uh, again, the same kind of answers but within the user experience of Microsoft 365 Copilot. And again, here you can see I get reference to the documents that I am using to uh, give an answer to the user. But I can also do more. Like, for example, here I can trigger actions like, uh, let's say that I have in my SharePoint online site an hypothetical list of candidates, which is an Excel spreadsheet with a list of candidates for a specific role. Well, I can ask to my uh, copilot agent to give me the list of candidates so that I can build an advanced solution where I can manage the members of this list. And of course, by uh, being able to consume this list, I will be able to get back uh, uh, all of those items. Since I'm going to use uh, the APIs to consume the Excel file. Uh, the very first time I'm going to do that, I need to allow uh, Copilot to do that. Uh, and actually for the sake of running this demo multiple times, I will only allow it once, but you could eventually allow it uh, always. I'm allowing this interaction with the external system and with the Excel uh, business uh, connector. And by doing that, I will be able to get back from my uh, external file stored in SharePoint Online, uh, the list of candidates that I can eventually work uh, with the these uh, uh, items. And here we are with the list of candidates that I have in my Excel file. So how can we do that in practice? 
let's go to uh, Copilot Studio, and here we can create a new agent. Well, when you create a new agent, you, we simply need to click uh, or select the Create button, and by doing that, uh, we start interacting uh, with the UI of Copilot Studio. I'm going to create a new agent from scratch, uh, but you could also start from one of the templates uh, made available by Microsoft. Now, let's start from scratch, as I said, and you have two options here. One is to use uh, a conversational model, so I'm just using the uh, AI based the interface to describe what I'm looking for, and that's what I'm going to do. Or you can also say script to configure, and you can manually configure the agent you want to create. But I want to keep it simple, and as such, I'm going to use the conversational model. So here I provided the initial statement to tell uh, what is the role of my agent. Then I need to provide a name, which could be HR agent 007, because why not? And then I will provide uh, additional information, like for example, if there is anything that I want to be emphasized, and actually I want to emphasize team building, inclusion, and stuff like that. Then I also need to specify if I want to have uh, a special uh, tone or way of interacting for my agent. And the tone I want to use will be professional. So let's say that and let's tell that to the uh, Copilot Studio Builder. Then once I've done that, we can eventually um, add, add additional reference to external data sources. And as I said, I want to use the HR website of Microsoft as one uh, data source, uh, as knowledge base of my agent. So let's do that and let's say that I want to use this website. By doing that, the uh, Copilot Studio will uh, rely on the uh, information that I provided and will allow me to build the agent. Now, since I provided a URL of a website, I need to declare that that website uh, is actually owned by my business because Bing Search uh, will work on the content of that website and you should use a website that is owned by your company. So let me confirm that. And now I can click on the Create button and create the actual agent based on the uh, description that I provided. It takes a while, usually a few seconds, and then you can start uh, playing with it. Uh, let's see. Okay, and here it is. Of course, you can play with it also customizing uh, uh, the uh, icon, uh, the base color, the name, and stuff like that. And it is still loading the settings that were provided by myself in the previous uh, uh, conversation based interaction. And here you can already see that in the knowledge base section, we have the URL of the website that I provided as the knowledge base for this agent, together with the additional settings that we can use. Okay. So now, as soon as it will be uh, ready, we can start uh, playing with it. So for example, we can test uh, this, uh, this agent and we can uh, provide a prompt like, uh, what is uh, our mission? Because we saw that in the website, we have our mission as one of the content sections. And it will work on the website that I provided and it will give me back the answer based on the actual reference. But as I said, I want to use the SharePoint site as a knowledge base. So I can click on add knowledge and I can choose, for example, to use SharePoint online as a data source, as a knowledge base. I can browse for my site and I can choose that I want to use this site, actually uh, this library in the uh, Copilot Camp HR site that I showed you before. Let me select this item. It is really important to provide uh, a useful name and description of the content that you are going to provide as the knowledge base, so that internally, by enabling uh, the generative AI-based orchestration in your agent, which means that uh, Copilot Studio will rely on generative AI to uh, understand what the user is looking for from a, a data source and knowledge base uh, point of view. If you provide a proper description here, you will help Copilot Studio find a better answer for your end user. Now, for the sake of saving time, I'm not going to ex expand the description provided out of the box, but in a real solution, you should keep into account that you need to provide a proper description for your uh, data sources. So now that I've done that, I can, for example, uh, provide another prompt, like, uh, I don't know, again, what are uh, the hiring procedures of our company? What's going to happen is that Copilot Studio now with my custom agent is going to rely also on the new knowledge base that I provided. And as you can see here, I've got the answer and I got again a reference about uh, external content that I have in my uh, knowledge base. That's really cool, and uh, it gives me the idea of trying something else. Like, for example, okay, I was able to read the um, 
mission of my company. I was able to read uh, the hiring procedures of my company. What, what if we ask something like, else, like for example, how can I cook spaghetti alla carbonara, which is my favorite uh, dish? Well, now we are using uh, an agent. As I said, an agent should be a specialized assistant to give me content in a specific context. But actually, if I do what I just showed you and nothing more than that, the uh, engine of Copilot Studio and of my custom agent will be able to use also the whole knowledge base available on the web, and it will be still uh, able to give me an answer, which is not actually what I'm looking for in this kind of agent, because this is an agent for HR. But you can simply turn off this option, allow the AI to use its own general knowledge, and by confirming that you want to do that, you will fully focus your agent on the actual content that you want to provide, on the actual knowledge base that you want to provide to your end users. It takes a while, and once it's done, you will have your agent fully focused on your uh, knowledge base and nothing more than that. So even if you will provide a prompt which targets a different context, you will not get back any answer, but actually the agent will tell you something uh, uh, that you're looking for something which is not uh, part of its knowledge base. So once you are done with the definition of your uh, agent, you can publish it. And in order to publish an agent, let me publish it once right now, and it will take uh, uh, a little while to uh, do the actual and initial publishing, we can switch to the channels and see how we can publish uh, an agent uh, uh, so that we can use it from an end user perspective. In the channel section of the agent, uh, we can choose uh, multiple channels, which can be Microsoft Teams, uh, can be a website, uh, can be a Slack, a mobile application, and many more. There are more than 10 different channels that we can use. By default, uh, every agent that we create with Copilot Studio, we rely on the uh, native Microsoft uh, uh, Entra ID authentication, and it will be possible to publish those agents uh, for on the channel for Microsoft Teams uh, only. If you want, we are not going to see that right now, but you can uh, um, uh, customize the uh, authentication settings for your agent and you can target additional channels. Now I'm just going to target Microsoft Teams, which is my choice, and I'm going to choose this uh, channel and I'm going to turn the uh, availability of this agent to Microsoft Teams. It takes again a while and then if I go to availability options, I can copy a link and start playing with the agent that I just created. And the uh, overall result will be exactly what I showed you uh, before. But before uh, uh, having a look to this agent, I want to show you what you can do if you want to target Microsoft 365 Copilot directly. So you want to have this kind of experience. So let me go back here. If we go to the list of agents, we have a special agent, which is this copilot for Microsoft 365. And in this one, we can create agents which will target the user experience of Microsoft 365 copilot. Here I created my agentic HR, which is the one I showed you before. And for the sake of saving time, I'm going to show you this one, and I'm not going to create another one from scratch because I don't have enough time in this demo, and I apologize about that. So here I have my agentic HR agent that I created targeting Microsoft 365 Copilot. Again, I created this one still using the conversation-based model, so I simply described what I was looking for. I provided a knowledge base based on the same documents as before stored in SharePoint Online. And as like as before, you can simply click on Add Knowledge and you can add additional knowledge. But I also configured an action, an action which is an action of type um, list rows present in a table through Excel Online Business. And I configure this action, if we dig into it, to target that specific document that I have in SharePoint Online. So I provided a name and a display name. And again, the display name and the description need to be uh, clear enough to help uh, the uh, orchestrator of uh, Copilot Studio and of the Copilot agent to understand uh, what we are looking for. Then we have a set of inputs and outputs because actually behind the scene of this action, there is a connector for Power Platform. And actually I'm using uh, uh, this uh, connector and this specific action, the list row present in a table, which wants to have the location, the library, the file, and the table that it needs to look for. So here in the inputs, I simply define the URL of the site, the 
uh, document library, you can provide the name or the ID of the document library, the file that I'm looking for, and the um, table that I have in the Excel file that I want to use as the data source. So that when I will provide the input that I provided before, list the candidates of uh, for the HR roles or anything else which will have the same intent and the same meaning, thanks to the generative AI, I will be able to make it so that Copilot Studio will understand what I'm looking for and will actually uh, consume this external uh, connector and give me back the answer I'm looking for. And I think this is uh, really, uh, really powerful. Then I also configured a few uh, starter prompts for my uh, agent for Microsoft Certified Copilot, and then I published it. And in order to publish it, you simply need to click on the Publish button, providing some information about uh, uh, the uh, short name, long name, and developer name for your agent. And once you are done with that, and we can even do that, that should be uh, quick enough. We can then enable the agent in Microsoft 365 Copilot and we are able to consume the agent. Of course, the very first time you will start using the agent and you will start interacting with an external system like the Excel file through the connector, you will also have to authenticate. So here you see that I can copy the URL and I can start working with my agent for Microsoft 365 Copilot. And actually, since this agent has been already published, I can update it instead of adding it to the target environment. I don't need to update it because I didn't change anything. But basically, as I was telling you, when you trigger an action which will start consuming an external connector, you also need to authenticate the very first time so that there will be a secure session between your um, session in the agent and the external connector consuming an external data source. And in fact, I have... Let's see if I can find it here. Exactly, I have a connection which is in place and which is already connected and that I'm using to consume the external Excel file from the agent built with Copilot Studio. So plenty of options and the capability to create really powerful solutions. As a reminder, if you want to dig more into these kind of topics, we have a training content online, which is the Copilot Dev Camp, where you can find a lot of training paths to learn how to build uh, this kind of stuff and to help you figure out what you need to learn, we created a flow chart to help you find the right path, whether you are a maker or a developer, so you want to use a code-based or a no-code-based approach and targeting multiple options based on what you want to get as the result of your uh, custom agent uh, uh, development or uh, making. Mm -hmm.